Postcards from faraway places can remind us of some place we've been or perhaps like to go to. Members of Art Quilt Maine have taken a theme and turned it into 16 quilts in an exhibition at the Portland Public Library called Postcards from Away. Tom talked with challenge coordinator Rena O'Connor about the quilts, which take us from our own backyard to the other side of the world. Rena, thanks for joining us today here at the library uh, to look at this wonderful exhibit of quilts. Before we get into the exhibit itself, could you tell us a little about the organization that made this possible, Maine Arts Quilt? Sure. It's um, the uh, chapter of the Maine State Guild for Quilting called Art Quilts Maine. And um, it's a guild, the, our chapter pulls from members from all over the state. And um, our, our uh, mission is to promote quilting as an art form. So um, those quilters who really are stepping beyond the bounds of tradition and traditional quilts um, are welcome to come and experiment and see what they can do with turning their quilts from bed quilts to wall quilts and artwork. Um, this year the theme is Postcards from Away and uh, depicting postcards from places either real or imaginary that you either have been to or wished you could go to. And um, um, we thought, oh, you know, I wonder if those places where we had the quilts last year would be interested in having them back again. And lo and behold, um, they were very excited to have it back. So we have five venues um, set up for this year so far uh, in Waterville and Skahegan and Saco and here at the Portland Public Library. And and in the Portland Public Library, we're actually standing in the, the children's area, the children's library right. area, where last year you had an exhibit on children's books, but this year it's on postcards. Can you talk to a little bit about what this exhibit is about this year? Right. So, um, so this year, uh, as I said, we, um, we threw out the challenge to create a quilt uh, depicting, create a postcard depicting a place, either real or imaginary, that you wished you could be or um, or have actually visited. And so the members took that challenge and interpreted it in a variety of different ways. And as you get a chance to look at some of these quilts, you'll see that they're um, from places as far away as um, the Great Barrier Reef in Australia and um, as close as somebody's backyard. So um, they, they came up with a variety of ideas. Some are actual um, places to pick landscapes, others I interpreted the, um, the theme to do uh, uh, like a bulletin board of many postcards, which gave those people a chance to do a lot of mixed media kind of work and do a number of little pieces on a, po on a bulletin board rather than one big postcard. The only restriction that we put on the work for the artists this year um, was that all the quilts should be similar in size, um, depicting um, the 20 by 30, which is sort of a uh, four by six postcard size, uh, enlarged, large enough to work on. Yeah. Looking around at some of these postcards or quilts, it's amazing that they are actually quilts. Um, can you just go over briefly what it take, what constitutes a quilt according to quilters? Yeah, so, um, so I think generally um, quilts are fiber art, so uh, you want to have some kind of fabric involved, um, thread, often batting. Um, so most quilts um, are three layers, a uh, backing, a uh, batting, and a top layer held together with thread um, uh, or some other kind of means of holding them together. And I think it's kind of that's as basic as you get. And then with art quilts, there's a multitude of ways that um, the artist can embellish that top layer and create the top layer. Well, w one of them that really strikes me is this one of the water and the rocks that's sort of right behind us. Mm -hmm. uh, how, you know, how there seems to be a lot done, and the other one with race cars is with stitching, which right. is really interesting. Yeah. Uh, could you talk a little bit about how those, those quilts ki kind of are made? Right. So that stitching is um, called thread painting often. And um, for instance, the one with the rocks is Sarah's quilt. She um, printed a photograph onto fabric and then took out her sewing machine and different color threads and began to embellish the, uh, the rocks and the water and gave it some life. In um, the other one, the race car, Watkins Glen, um, she took a, uh, a photograph again, but really intensely used threads to almost like a, uh, almost like a pen and, and ink to create shadows and realism. So it's really, uh, really a neat piece, it's almost like needlework. It is really amazing, and there's 16 of these, and those aren't just those are just two, but all of them are really uh, very interesting to look at. 
we don't have not enough time to talk about each one, but if people wanted more information about this exhibit, where it's going to be, whatever, how could they find out more information? Well, um, the Children's Library here has uh, some information, so I think that people can get some information here if they wanted to come to the library and pick up a card. They've printed a card that has some information about it um, and get a chance to see the quilts, obviously. Um, and then I suppose uh, they could contact me and I can give them a list of where it's going to be. That's Rana O'Connor and um, my email address is roconnor at maine.rr.com, so that would be one way. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining us. All right, thank you.